Hi everyone, my name is Sean Batir and this is Tech Explained. Today, we'll be talking about NFTs, also known as non-fungible tokens. So let's jump right into it. Fungible, contrary to popular belief or the sound of the word, has nothing to do with fungus. Fungible means that something can be replaced, but still treated the same. Likewise, something that is non-fungible refers to something that is distinct and cannot be replaced. One example in the real world of something that is fungible is a $20 bill. Let's pretend that you got $20 in cash from the bank and it was freshly printed in 2021. Likewise, let's also pretend that your grandmother just gave you a gift of 20 US dollars that was printed in, say, 1978. Now, even though both of these dollar bills are physically different, they are accepted as both $20 bills when you go to Whole Foods to buy your groceries. See? In this example, a dollar bill is fungible. Nobody discriminates between an old and a new dollar bill. Now, the same is true for those of you who currently have one Bitcoin. If you trade one Bitcoin with me, you transfer the value associated with that Bitcoin, like for instance, $53,000 for one Bitcoin, and I get a Bitcoin and you get $53,000. While they may have been mined at different times, the value is the same, and so they can replace each other. In other words, these Bitcoin are also fungible. But what is non-fungible? Now, non-fungible tokens cannot be replaced. Now, perhaps the most popular example of an NFT as of May 2021 would be the sale of a digital work by artist Mike Winkleman, also known as Beeple, for $69 million at Christie's. This art was purchased using Ether, the currency that sits on the Ethereum blockchain. The person who bought the Beeple painting now owns it through the NFT token. The token assigns ownership, sort of like a barista writing down your name on a Starbucks drink. But how? What makes NFT tokens on Ethereum different is that you can give each token a unique identifier. This is like a name on your Starbucks drink. That unique identifier or name is the metadata. The metadata assigns ownership and links a digital asset like an original picture to a specific owner of that Beeple painting. It's basically the digital equivalent of saying you can take as many pictures of the Mona Lisa and you can have all the copies, but I am the only true owner. NFT tokens enable ownership to be tracked. Now in the art world, it matters about the origin and the ownership of, a, of an object. With an NFT, as well as with blockchain technology, you can trace not only a unique item, but you can also track ownership as it moves through hands through a digital record. Check out my Bitcoin blockchain video if you wanna learn more about these digital records and how they work. So to finalize, an NFT or non-fungible token is an instrument that you can use for purchasing or selling digital assets that you own. It makes you an owner of an original asset. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and put a like on this video. My name is Sean Batir and this is Tech Explained, a video series where I explain difficult things around us using simple and understandable language.